It's time to make some lunch and we are going to be sharing some tips on how to wet chop, how to make the sushi, and I wanted to show you what the blue wraps look like. These have been fully dried now from last night. If you missed that video, it's up on YouTube. It's also in my Reels tab on Instagram. You can tap on the Reels tab and it takes you to all the videos so you get to watch all of the videos. Um, but the wrap recipes and we have sushi recipes and all the recipes right now, so many good ones are in the vegan health bundle. The link is in my bio. Please go check it out if you haven't already. I just realized this morning that you're actually saving $8,000 when you buy the bundle because the actual retail price of the bundle, if you were to buy everything separately, is $8,049, but you're only paying $49 for it. So you're actually getting $8,000 off this bundle, which is crazy. You're getting 150 things, including our live lunch. So if you like watching videos of us preparing raw food, you're going to love a live lunch. It's in the bundle. The regular price for that is $330, but you're getting it as part of the bundle for 49 bucks. So it's the lowest price that it's going to be right now. If you buy the bundle, you get access to that. There's 35 hours of Nate and I doing just this, making stuff in the kitchen and chatting. And yeah, so please go check out the bundle if you haven't yet. There are a, a two sushi recipes that I included in this bundle. One of the sushi recipes is very similar to this one, which you can find in the Alive Lunch video class. So you get to watch us make it live on video in the, pre, in the recorded videos in Alive Lunch. So the, um, then there's the, it's like a Zen Blossom Pink um, sushi. It's in the group collaboration ebook. And the group collaboration ebook is the only um, ebook that you won't ever get again. So this ebook is part of the bundle. You can only get it if you buy the bundle. It's 77 spring recipes. There are about 20 of them are raw. And my pink sushi is in that ebook as well as my uh, veg uh, pepper bites and stuff like that. So yeah, um, we've got, thanks for your generous contributions to the bundle. I'm looking forward to the lunch videos. Yes, the live lunch videos are so awesome. 35 hours, that's a lot. There's actually, we filmed it over 21 days and every single day we filmed a new recipe and we gave away like bonus recipes in the video. So you have to watch the videos to get all the bonus recipes like the burgers and the tacos and Nate makes um, corn chips. Uh, yeah, there's, there's lots of little bonuses in there. Plus we talk about health tips and, um, you know, little tricks that we do. You get to watch us make the wraps in the videos as well. So go grab the bundle if you want access to those 35 hours of videos, because it's, it was really fun. Nate and I had a blast, um, in the kitchen together filming all of those, but you know, each video is like an hour and a half cause we like to talk. <laughs> so, um, we took our sweet time making the recipes, but you get all the recipes. There's a downloadable PDF that goes along with the course that you have access to all the recipes. There's shopping lists. Um, there's daily shopping lists and three day shopping lists. It's meant to be followed for 21 days. So you could totally get the bundle and you could follow it day to day, just get everything on the grocery list and then make the lunch the next day. So there's so many fun things, other fun things in the bundle. Like Mike, the vegan has his level five vegan, um, how to stay vegan ebook that he just contributed the day before the bundle. So that's in there as well. There's so many awesome contributions. So please go check it out if you haven't yet. Link is in my bio or in the description box below if you're looking on YouTube. So let's get right into it. I wanted to share because I, I need to make lunch. So um, I'm doing kind of like a mini version of a live lunch here by myself. Uh, making sushi and I wanted to show how we wet chop and we show this in the video course as well so please go grab that if you haven't yet we wanting to change my eating habits significantly and this bundle will help so much oh my gosh the bundle is gonna help you so much there's thousands of recipes and there's there's countless hours of video content and and like with 150 things in there 
you're definitely going to have a lot of stuff to learn. So yeah, go grab it if you haven't yet. But yeah, here's the wrap. We made these yesterday. This is the blue wrap. Um, the recipe is actually the everything but the bagel wrap. And we just added two teaspoons of blue spirulina to that recipe to make it blue. That's why it's blue. So the wrap book is also available in the bundle. So you got to get the bundle if you want all the good stuff. <laughs> it's in there. It's in there. And I also wanted to show this wrap. This one here I made about four or five days ago. And look, it's still really good. I just leave them on the silicone trays until I'm ready to use them. Haven't made it yet. But uh, yeah, look how flexible that is. It's so awesome. These wraps are just really great. But again, the caramelized onion wrap. This recipe is also in the hand salads wrap ebook, which is in the bundle. So you can make that one too. This is Nate actually requested the uh, caramelized onion one for his trip to Oregon. So I made him quite a few of those before he left. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly show those really quick. Um, we're going to be making the sushi. So first up though, I want to make a sauce for the sushi and this sauce can be used as a dipping sauce or as kind of like a, a painting sauce to, you know, get the, get the nori a little wet. So it's a little bit softer. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm just going to grab a spoon or two here because I'm probably gonna need those. And now I filled the blender up with probably about half a cup of water. And before Nate left for Oregon, we soaked these dates. So these dates have been soaking for, I don't know, four days or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna take some of these dates. I'm gonna take probably about four or, yeah, probably four of them, maybe five, I don't know. They're falling apart here. <laughs> so we got that, two, three, four. That should be good. Just kind of eyeball it. But we like to soak them, keep them fully submerged in the water to prevent mold, but keep them in the fridge when you're soaking them. They're a lot softer and they, um, they're really nice actually when they're like that. The water kind of tastes like maple syrup. So you want to have dates in there. And I'm actually going to do some lime juice as well. So squeeze some lime juice in here. And I don't mind if there's a seed or two that gets in there, it's just gonna get blended, blended up in there. So uh, here we go. And for a lot of the dressings, we like to just wing it, but obviously there's, you know, there's some really awesome recipes in the bundle. And the in a live lunch, the recipe for the sauce that we use is, is the dragon eye sauce. So if you want the nice, creamy, delicious, awesome sauce, uh, get the alive lunch in the bundle. What are you making? I am making some carrot zucchini sushi today. Um, sharing a, a sauce recipe, a really quick sauce recipe and how to wet chop and roll up the sushi. So I'm gonna do, Right now we've got five dates in here, a little bit of water, some lime juice, a garlic clove, and I'm gonna put some red pepper flakes because I, I like the spice. So maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon. You don't need a lot. It gets, it gets spicy fast. <laughs> and then this is the secret ingredient to the sauce is the ginger. Um, you can peel your ginger if you want. I usually peel just kind of like, you know, the rougher parts of it. And you can put as much ginger as you want in this sauce. And I'm gonna put a fairly big chunk because I really like ginger. I might actually put more than that in there. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, I just kind of chop off certain pieces. I don't chop off the entire amount, but so there, yeah, the ginger, ginger. And that's basically it. <laughs> You could put um, miso paste, and actually, you know, I have these fermented carrots. These are raw and vegan, as you can see on the bottle or the jar, raw vegan carrots. I got these at Whole Foods, and for a little bit of bonus, I'm going to open this jar. I'm gonna put these in the sushi as well because I really like them, but I'm gonna take 
a, a spoonful or two of the brine and put it in there as well. Just for a little extra um, flavor, we we'll do that. And then we just have to blend it up. So I need a lid. There's a lid right here. Woo, okay. Gonna blend that up really quick right here. And that can be our dipping sauce, which I should probably get a bowl for. And I need a spatula. Here we go. I like these really soft spatulas um, because you can spread the uh, sauce really nicely on the nori. So now that that's done, I'm going to pour this sauce into this bowl and our little serving bowl here. And you could use this as a dressing if you want. You could also add um, like tahini or some sesame seeds to that, maybe some sunflower seeds or whatever. You can add um, other things to this too, make it your own. I'm just gonna fill this with a little bit of water. Okay, so we have water in our blender jug. Now, to wet chop, you're gonna need a few things. Let's just see if we have any questions in here. Um, how do I get sound? I'm not sure. You gotta turn up your volume or turn on the volume for your phone. <laughs> um, so you're gonna need a few things for wet chopping. Wet chopping, I have found, is the best way to make the rice for the sushi, whether you're using cauliflower or parsnips or carrots or beets or any hard vegetable, wet chopping is, I personally feel, way better than ricing it in the food processor because you get bigger chunks. And with this way, you get finer and it's a little bit more sticky. And I like to use zucchini with carrots. This is probably my favorite combination for sushi rice, but you can, again, use any combination of the things you, you want for your sushi rice. It's really nice to put a chunk of ginger, which we will do as well, maybe a clove of garlic or so. You could put a chunk of horseradish in there as well if you wanted to get that kind of wasabi style zing to it. That's really cool as well. Um, but you're going to need your blender filled halfway with water so that you can wet chop. And then you're gonna need three things to do this. You're gonna need a large bowl, um, or you could use a sink, totally. <laughs> you can use the sink if you want. I'm just using the bowl because I'm here on video. I don't wanna go over to the sink. Um, a, a, a fine mesh metal strainer. And I like that it sits right nicely over the bowl like that. And then another bowl if you want uh, for you to put the, the rice in after. So to wet chop, this is how you do it. It's really easy. You just want to chop your vegetables into kind of smaller pieces. Like you don't want to have huge pieces because you want it to be fairly easy for your blender. And you just put them in the water like so. Especially with carrots, you don't want to have huge pieces, but you want to have big enough pieces so you're not chopping finely, because you don't really need to, the blender will do that for you. There we go. And one more. Again, if you want to get the um, a live lunch video course where we do food prep, 35 hours of food prep, grab the bundle. It's yours as part of the bundle. Now here we go. So we've got everything kind of sitting in the water like this. The trick to wet chopping is three to five seconds max blended. Um, I'm actually just writing my diploma thesis about 
raw vegan food. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's super cool. Um, yeah, so you want to have, you know, enough water kind of just like floating around in there and you only want to blend it for three to five minutes, uh, seconds, not minutes, not minutes, <laughs> seconds, only three to five seconds max. Because if you go longer than that, then it gets too fine. It's more like a smoothie or a puree and it doesn't work the same. You, you want it to still be kind of like rice-like, but you don't want it to be a puree. So about three seconds is typically the best amount, three to five, give or take. So all you do is you put the whole thing on the blender with the water and everything, grab your lid and blend it on high and count to three. That's it. That's how you wet chop. <laughs> so you take that off and now you've got this, this liquidy mixture mess in your blender. Now obviously you can't make sushi with this, so what we do is we pour it through the metal strainer. Now you could use a nut milk bag, but Nate and I have used the nut milk bag um, before. And unfortunately we squeeze out too much water and the rice is too dry. So we prefer this method because it keeps it a little bit still wet. Um, but not too dry. So what, what we like to do here, you could totally use this water in a smoothie or you could use it as the base of a soup or you could use it as a base for your dressings. You can totally use this water, it's totally good. Um, if you use clean, pure water when you fill up your blender, you could totally drink this, it's totally fine. And, and you should, because <laughs> why not, right? So as you can see, it's like, fine, but it's not, you know, hard pieces. And what I like to do is just mix it around and around and around. And I forgot to add the ginger, but you could totally add ginger to this. Or like I said, you could add horseradish or garlic or other spices. But um, yeah, we'll just go with this for now and just mix and, and squish, mix and squish so that you can get as much of the water out as you can and then of course you can drink the water use it in a smoothie or a soup or another recipe that requires water you could even use it as a as the water for the wraps you could totally do that too all right so next up you could even leave it like this i'm actually going to just leave it like this and i'm going to use this bowl to squeeze off any excess water um, but I'm just going to move a few things over here. Now, for fillings, I have, so we've got our sauce that we're going to have for the sushi. I've got some greens that I got off of our tower garden or our lettuce grow. Question, can I buy, oh, can I buy store-bought fermented foods or is that bad? That's a great question. So before I go into this, let's talk one really quick about the fermented foods. Um, it's in the book inside the bundle. So the yeah, the bundle's got the uh, live lunch video classes and the wrap book and all kinds of goodies. So when you're buying fermented foods at the store, you wanna read the ingredients. If there's vinegar in it, it's not a true fermented food. The only ingredients that you should see in there are the vegetables, possibly a starter like koji or uh, maybe probiotics of some kind and a salt. That's it. Those are the only ingredients that you should see when you are reading labels. Like for example, this one here, carrots, ginger, salt, that's it. So that is how you get a true ferment. The salt helps to preserve it um, from getting like too many bad bacteria and it just lacto ferments with the, the natural bacteria that's on the food. Once you add vinegar to it, it's a fake ferment. It's not a real fermented food. And most of them will say raw, raw and vegan on it these days um, to show that they're not using animal products because there's some fermented foods out there that have animal products in them. So you wanna make sure that you read the ingredients and make sure that it says vegan on it. And it usually says raw because it's a raw fermented product. So this is basically just carrots, ginger, and sea salt. 
and it's been fermented with the natural bacteria. So always, always check, make sure that there's no vinegar. And this goes for pickles too. If there's vinegar in the pickles, they're not, they're just pickles. They're not actually fermented cucumbers. So you're not getting the benefit of the probiotics when you're eating the fake ferments because they taste good because of the vinegar, but they're not actual real ferments. It's just pickles and salt and spices for um, true actual pickles. So that's what you wanna look for. So that's one of the fillings that we're gonna use in the sushi. And we've got some from the lettuce grow garden that we have growing in our office. So we've got some butter lettuce. Um, I took some ch like baby chard pieces some speckled lettuce as well, and some green onions. We had one green onion growing, so <laughs> I got that for, for my sushi today. And I also have other fillings um, that I'm gonna use as well. I've got some cucumber and orange bell pepper that I chopped up. And then, of course, I'm just gonna open this and get this ready. Um, let's see here because I don't want it to be super watery when I put it in. So I'm just gonna put it on the plate here. And you don't need a lot when you're making sushi because the sushi fills up so fast. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. This stuff is really good, by the way. I really like it. Okay, on to the sushi. Next part, we've got sushi nori rolls. So these, this is dried sushi, and as you can see, it says raw and vegan. This is the company name, Izumi. Um, so this I got off Amazon. If you want, send me a DM, and I'll get you the link uh, for the raw nori um, sheets. But these are untoasted raw nori. So I'm going to take one of them out. And these are 50 packs, by the way. We like sushi. <laughs> I guess I should call them nori rolls, would be a little more appropriate, because there's no fish involved in these. So now making it is totally your call, how you wanna roll it, how you wanna do it. Um, I personally, I'm, I'm not gonna be using a sushi mat, but you could totally use a sushi mat. I just use the knife method where I just kind of take the knife and then roll it over. You'll see how I do it. And we show how to do this in the Alive Lunch video courses. So get the bundle so you have access to those 35 hours worth of content. Um, I can't wait to hear what people think of it. Buy the, uh, I buy the same ones. They are awesome. I love sushi too. Yes, yeah, it's so good. It's so cool because you can put whatever you want in them, really. Um, so what I like to do, I'm just gonna put this over here for a second. You gotta work fast when you're doing sushi with really wet ingredients. It's not the, quite the same as um, traditional sushi because there's so much water involved and it can make it soft. But I'm gonna show a tip as well for people who find that their sushi is a little bit too soggy. We'll share that in a second here. But what I like to do first is I like to dip the um, spatula in a little bit of the sauce and I like to paint the bottom half, or bottom two thirds really, of the nori roll. You don't have to do that part, but I really like it. Then, <laughs> the fun begins. Get the kids involved in this, this is a fun. Make a snowball with your rice and squeeze out, I guess I should show this over here. Squeeze out any excess water. You don't want to squeeze it all out, just enough. So you get like this clump and then you put it down. And I like to do two of them because I find two handfuls to be the best amount. So there we go. And you got to work fast. You got to work fast because your nori starts to kind of roll up. Again, you could skip that painting part, but I like it because it adds extra flavor to my nori roll. There we go, maybe add a little bit more in the corner here. There we go, nice and messy. All right. Next step is getting your hands dry just a little bit. <laughs> then let's put some, some greens in here. 
few greens. Again, you don't want to stuff these too big because it's easy to put a lot of stuff in these. We'll do a couple green onions as well as maybe a few slices of cucumber and bell pepper. Let me just do two bell cucumber here like that. And finally, last but not least, the fermented carrots. And um, for those wondering who are new here, the rice is actually wet chopped carrot and zucchini. And I showed earlier in the video how to do that. So if you want, you can always rewatch this when it's finished. It'll be on my Instagram. Then what I do, paint the top with more sauce. Because if you paint the top too early, it curls up really intensely. <laughs> so paint the top there so it's nice and sticky for when you roll it. And then again, I like to use the knife, but you can use your sushi mat or whatever you like. I just kind of like flip it over like this. And then take your time, take your time, be really gentle with it, squeeze it a little bit, and then slowly, slowly roll it up. And you'll see like the edges start to curl up, but you can roll it up. Now, this is the um, cool trick for people who notice that their sushi is a little bit kind of like holes. For example, look at those holes. There's holes on there. This is my favorite technique to do. Just get another sushi, a nori sheet, paint it all, paint it all with some sauce. And we're gonna roll it up again. And this makes it really nice and firm. So it's easier to cut as well. Plus you get a little bonus nutrition from an extra nori sheet. So here we go. That's really all you do. Just roll it up again. And then I like to kind of put extra on the end here so it's nice and sticky. There we go. And then what you want to do is you want to let it sit for about a minute or so just to soften that second um, nori, nori sheet, and then we'll cut it. So that's basically how you do it. And I'll eat probably, I mean, I'll finish up this. So this will make probably three full rolls. And with the sauce, I'll probably be pretty full with that. <laughs> um, but you can always make more of the, uh, rice. If you want to make more totally just put any vegetables, harder vegetables you want in there to wet chop. And that's how, that's how it's done. So I think this is fairly decent. So let's give it a cut. You want to have a really, really, really sharp knife for this. And you want to go slow. If you go too fast, then they can rip and fall apart. So you just want to go nice and slow, nice and slow. Take your time. This knife isn't as sharp as I'd like it to be, but there we go. Look at our sushi, little sushis. And again, we share this recipe as well as countless others in our live lunch video course. And the sushi video that we have in the video course, the sauce is the dragon eye sauce. It's a creamy dragon eye sauce, it's so good. Um, so you're gonna wanna get the bundle. Click the link in my bio up here or in the description box. So you can get access to a live lunch, which is part of the bundle and save yourself $8,000 by buying the bundle. It's an incredible deal. You do not want to miss it because it will not be back this way ever again. There's another one, little sushis. They're going to be so delicious. And then we have our little sauce here our extra bonus sauce that we can use. And another thing that I like to do, this is like a side tip, is the end piece. Sometimes it's it's hard, like the ending end piece is kind of strange or, I think I can get three pieces out of this one. Look at that, there we go, yep. 
I got three pieces, but sometimes the end piece kind of falls apart. <laughs> um, Nate and I like to make a sushi bowl. So we take all the ends and we put them all together and then we just drizzle sauce and we kind of have like a sushi bowl to eat as well. Um, but yeah, here we go. We've got our sushis. Oh my gosh, so many cute little ones. I'm gonna take a bite. Let's dip here. Woohoo! Yes. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, 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 -hmm. <laughs> mm. that's fun. <laughs> awesome, so this is a very low fat meal because we didn't use any fats in anything. Carrot, zucchini with the date ginger sauce, so good. You could also add coconut aminos if you want to have kind of like a soy sauce flavor, obviously you can add more garlic, other things you want, but hopefully you enjoyed this quick little demo. I'm going to um, go and make more. <laughs> so I have a full huge lunch to eat. This was really fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And please, 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 if you haven't yet, go check out the vegan health bundle. Save $8,000 on vegan content by grabbing it for $49. The total value is $8,049. So <laughs> it's a great special. Have three of your books, the taco burger and hand salads. Yes, oh, those are so great. The, the wrap book and the taco book are both in the bundle as well. So for those of you who don't have it, this is a great opportunity for you to grab that. We contributed uh, eight things to this bundle valued at almost $700. There's the, the wrap book, the taco book, uh, make It Raw Volume 2, A Live Lunch, Make It Raw, Make It Cooked, which is a video course that I filled with Chef AJ. We made the German, raw German chocolate cake, Italian meatballs and enchiladas. So good. Um, but yeah, the sushi, there's two sushi recipes from me in the bundle. One of them is in the A Live Lunch course, and the other one is in the exclusive group collaboration ebook, which is exclusive to the bundle only. Bought the bundle last year and I was, I was awesome. Looking forward to this one. Yes, every bundle is different. So even if you have purchased bundles in the past, this one is totally different. A lot of people have made new stuff for it. And where can I get the deal? Go to the link in my bio. If you click on my icon up here, go to my Instagram page and click the link in my bio. And if you're watching on YouTube, click the link in the description box below. It'll take you to the website where you can see everything you get for $49 valued. If you bought everything separate, it would cost you $8,049. So <laughs> you're saving a lot of money. There's stuff from Dr. McDougal, Dr. Furman, Chef AJ. We've got Nate and Enzyme who has, he has four raw recipe books in this bundle. There's, I think there's like 32 raw eBooks in this bundle, but you're getting 150 things. Um, Mike the Vegan has his uh, how to stay vegan ebook that he just wrote. He added it to the bundle. And yes, thank you, thank you for sharing the link. Um, the Vegan Health Bundle, that link is in my bio. So go check it out if you want to grab this bundle. It is so worth it. So much good stuff in there. There's cook alongs, there's videos, and you can make the cooked food for your family. You can have the raw food for yourself. There's a great combination of everything in there and just a plethora of information. <laughs> so we're going to be back here live at 2 p.m. PST. So in an hour and a half, we're going to be talking with Sky, who is also in the bundle. She contributed her raw vegan favorites ebook, which is really cool. And then at three o'clock, we are live with Rachel Detroit. She also has a raw ebook in the bundle. Um, she's, she put like six things in the bundle, so <laughs> there's lots of stuff from her as well. And then at five o'clock, we are going to be, we are going to be filling and rolling the blue wraps. So that's going to be happening at 5 p.m. PST, so please join us then. How long does this deal last? Great question. Thank you for asking that. It is only available until March 10th. After March 10th, you can no longer buy this bundle. So the reason is like, it takes us months to prepare for this event, months. And a lot of the contributors have created brand new things for this bundle and they've set aside time to promote and share about the bundle as well. So 
it takes a long time to create these bundles, so we can only run them for 10 days. They're a really heavy, big 10 days, very exciting, lots of fun stuff happening, but they are only available. So it's kind of like an online event. If you want to grab it, you only have until May t uh, March 10th, not May. <laughs> May is the raw bundle, but this one here ends on March 10th at 1159 p.m. PST, which is about 3 a.m. Eastern if you're in like the New York -y Florida area. So yeah, get the bundle if you haven't yet. And thank you for hanging out with me while I made some sushi. We will be back at two o'clock. We will be hanging out with Sky. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging with me. I really appreciate you. Until the next one, fruit on.